Hi, this is T.H. Culhane for Solar Cities, and this is a video response to a question by Jelu Botezan. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, our biogas colleague from Romania, who is part of our Solar Cities Biogas Inventors and Practitioners Facebook group. And this also goes out to any of our other friends on Facebook who wanted to know a little more about our Solar Cities HDPE IBC tote system for biogas. What you're looking at here is a 3D model made in Google SketchUp and uh, here's a little film animation that shows our system in action. This is the start of our system, the kitchen sink and the incinerator food waste disposer or food grinder that grinds up effortlessly all the food and makes it into a slurry that bacteria can easily digest. And then we have our 6.5 horsepower electric generator that we run here in Germany and at Hanafatis in Cairo on the biogas. There is an overview of the system made of three HDPE tanks. The first tank, the low tank, is the primary digester, or it is the biodigester, and it has a feeding pipe, which is a two-inch pipe that runs through the cap of the tank. That way you don't penetrate the tank. Uh, and it goes down to the bottom of the tank, but leaves enough space for the food to easily get out without getting blocked. Normally the tank bottom is also filled with some stones and gravel, which are not shown in this animation. But you get an idea that that pipe goes down to about uh, four inches above the bottom of the tank. Then we have the outflow pipe for the overflow, for the spent fuel, if you like. And it's just screwed right into the side of the tank and then curves up and then down and has a valve so we can build up gas pressure. When you open that valve, the excess slurry pours into that bucket and then can be used as a fantastic NPK and micronutrient-rich fertilizer on your garden. So the system would work just like that, but we need a place to store the gas. The blue thing in the front, by the way, is a solar hot water panel we use to heat the uh, slurry in. Here's where the gas comes out of the primary digester. It's valved and then it goes into the almost the top of the gas collector, which is normally filled with a thousand liters of water. Then the gas pushes that water out of the second tank. The third tank on top is the water pressure tank. It has a photovoltaic panel with a battery and a charge controller on top, and that powers the sump pump that's in that green bucket. What happens is, as the gas from the digester pushes water out of the gas collector, it then falls in the bucket and gets pumped up to the top tank. It's displaced up there where it can be used as a water pressure reservoir. And that's important so in countries where there's very little water, you can keep recycling the same water on over and over. There's the green sump bucket. It's basically a garbage can and it has a sump pump in it with a float valve as the gas displaces the water in the gas collector and it fills that small bucket. The pump turns on and pumps the water up to the top of the water pressure tank. The valves at the bottom of the gas collector uh, allow for the water to return from the water pressure tank on top to the gas collector on the bottom so that you can push the gas out to the kitchen. You need some pressure to do that. So imagine the water coming out of the water pressure tank and flowing back down this pipe, which is one inch PVC. And when that valve is open, that red valve uh, going back into the tank, the water will then fill that tank up again and push the gas out. When you close that valve, and open the valve to the sump bucket, then as you're making more gas, you fill the sump bucket, which pumps the water to the water pressure tank. Here's where the gas comes out to go to the kitchen stove or to go to the generator that we showed. It comes out of the very top of the gas collector tank. So the gas collector tank is made to create high pressure gas when the top tank or water pressure tank is filled and that valve is opened. Here is a realistic setup in Alvaro Silva's uh, backyard in South Central Los Angeles. And here is the proof of it working. As you can see, when he opens the valve on the gas collector, he gets flame. I'll explain more later when I have more time to make a more detailed video. I hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.